Welcome back to a new video here in Swabi. So the first thing that we need is to create a fusion composition where we are going to create our scene or our holographic screen. So we're just going to name that and do that. Now inside fusion, the first thing we want to do is create a background node and connect it. And then we can change the color of our background already. After that, we're going to go to image and change the resolution. So for that, we're going to uncheck the auto resolution and then change it to 1080 by 1920 so it fits our building that we have on our screen on our scene and after that we're pretty much set up for that part now for your scenes and holograms you can use pretty much anything that you want you can use an image a text from fusion or anything from inside fusion or videos like you've seen in the examples now we are going to drag this smiley face and then we're going to press ctrl m and we're going to add a transform node to it then we're going to connect these to our background and here we're going to adjust the size and the position that we want our smiley face so we're going to bring it a little bit towards the bottom so after that what we want to do is we want to create a second transform node and then we're gonna first of all adjust the pivot point so that it's right in the middle of our face. After we have that set up, we're gonna right click on the center or the position and click on shake so we can create a shake animation throughout the whole fusion composition. And then we can play around with the different settings here to your to whatever you like but that is just an optional step now after we have our little face right there we are gonna add a text node which is gonna be the background text that's gonna go on our holographic screen and we're gonna just connect it and then here we're gonna write whatever you want to write in this case uh, just like some government message I guess and then you can choose the font and do like any adjustments that you want uh, basically this part is up to you and the next thing that we're going to do is position it all the way up. We're going to select our whole text and we're going to copy and paste them just inside that box there. It's just inside the text box. And then we're going to position these here. Now we want to animate the text to be sort of like scrolling. So for that, we're going to create a keyframe on the position right at the beginning and then at the end we're gonna move these all the way up. You can make the direction of it go down or anywhere you want to, it's up to you again. After we have that ready, we wanna add this scan lines to our footage. So we're gonna press Ctrl M again and select scan lines. And then here you, as always, can play around and customize it to your liking, but we're gonna adjust the line frequency and then a few other settings just to play around to see what looks good in this scenario, in this case. And after we have something that we like, we can animate the line shift. So we're going to create the first keyframe and then all the way till the end, we're going to make it go sort of like down. And now after we play around with the settings, we want to make sure that the composition mode is set to overlay. And then we can change the opacity of the scan lines effect also by adjusting the blending mode in the settings section. Now we have our scene and we can go back to the edit page. And inside the edit page, we can drag these on top to see how it looks like. Now here we can pre-render these future composition already. So it's easier for us to work with it. So first, if we right click and press render in place, nothing will happen. And the way to fix this is by creating a compound clip. We're going to click there and just name it. And then after you create the compound clip, you can right click again and press render in place and the pop up window will show up. There you can select the format that you want and click OK and then you will select the folder where you want it to be and then you just let it pre-render. Now that we have this video we can right click on our original clip and then go inside Fusion and we can drag our clip inside our Fusion composition to see what it looks like. Now the first thing and main thing that we want to do here is we're going to create a planar tracker. In our side, inside our planar tracker we're going to want to draw our shape covering a really decent area that it has a lot of data that it can actually so it can actually do a good job and we're gonna change the tracker mode to hybrid area and make sure that the motion type is set to perspective now we have to reposition our tracker to the first frame because we were not working on that first frame at first so once we do that we can make sure that we have the set at the frame zero and then we can just click track now the tracker will do its job and it will track all these different points that you can that we can use for our footage 
after our tracker information is ready and working fine there's no crazy movements happening we can just proceed to the next step which is corner pinning to corner pin we're gonna go to operations mode and press corner pin here we can track these different points and create what will be our screen um what would you call it i think edges will be fine to call them now the next step after that will be to add a transform node to our video that we have and we're gonna connect these to the corner pin screen and you will see here it looks a little bit weird so we're gonna go and we're gonna uncheck use size and aspect and you will see that if you go all the way to the edge, you will see that our image or video will not go beyond the corner pins edges. And then you can go and adjust it so it fits correctly uh, the way you want it to fit. Now, after you have something that you're happy with, you want to create a new background node and check the alpha mode to zero. And we're going to connect that to our planar tracker and for that just get rid of everything else and then we're gonna connect these again to our media to create a new merge node and then to the ending screen this is so that we can add a glow effect and the shadow and it affects our whole holographic screen so we're gonna add the glow and make all the little tweaks that we want uh, it's up to you every time there's no set rules on these and after you have something you're happy with we're gonna add a shadow effect which is gonna complement our glow a little bit better so it looks a little bit cooler and the first thing is we're gonna adjust the softness and then we also um, want to adjust the color that our shadow has right so we're gonna go back to our shadow and change the color to something similar to what our screen is and after you find something that you are happy with we are pretty much set up for the next step now the next step is since our scene is a little bit uh, has a little bit of odd colors within we're gonna add a color corrector so we're gonna press ctrl m again and we're gonna add a color corrector here and inside this color corrector we're gonna adjust the gain of our main video that we have here which is our background to make it a little bit darker and then we're gonna add a bluish sort of tone so that it sort of fits our scene a little bit better right now that we have something that looks a little bit more integrated with our holographic screen we are pretty much set you could leave it as it is but we can add a few little more tweaks i'm gonna add a rectangle mask and i'm gonna add that to our media in which is our first scene and we want to make the adjustments so that it actually looks fits in the right position if you select your scene node which is the media 2 that we have here and press number two we're gonna see that on screen and then here we can make the adjustments so that the rectangle actually fits in the right position and here we will make the adjustments to the softness so the edges of it are a little bit better and then the corners so that our corners are a little bit round after you find something that you are happy with uh, then we are pretty much set up with our scene and this is what our holographic screen attached to our scene looks like And if you like, you can add as many screens and holograms as you want. You can implement just text. It's all about your creativity. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope this style of video helps. It's a little bit different because it involved me to pre-record everything and voiceover. It's actually like five times the amount of work. I don't know why I did it this way. But if you enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to leave a like to this video if you find it helpful. And if you're going to try it, let me know. I would love to check it out. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video here in Swathi. Bye.